Hello my dear students welcome back to my channel today let us go for the second module in biological classification the first question is select the wrong statement and they have given you four statements the first statement is diatoms are microscopic and floats passively in water this is true and second one the walls of diatoms are easily destructible see the wall of diatoms contains cellulose and silica and they do not decay easily they are very hard so it is not easily destructible so this is a wrong statement here let us go for the third statement also diatomaceous earth is formed by the cell wall of diatoms yes after the death of diatoms they are deposited at the bottom in the water and it forms a gritty diatomaceous earth and diatoms are considered as chief producers in the ocean this is also true so here the wrong answer or the wrong statement is option b the walls of diatoms are easily destructible it's a wrong statement second question identify the organism and the structure marked as p and q see by looking at the diagram only we can say it's a structure of what tobacco mosaic virus or tmv right so the name of the organism is tmv here b and c both are explaining t and v right next see p means what see p is the genetic material rna and q means its capsid so here p rna and q capsid is seen in option b so option b is the right one next let us go for the third question read the statements a to c given below and select the correct option bacteria shows both autotrophic and heterotrophic nutrition yes this is true next some of the bacteria are autotrophic they may be photosynthetic autotrophic or chemosynthetic autotrophic this is also true and c statement see very few bacteria found in nature show heterotrophic mode of nutrition see heterotrophic bacteria are the most abundant bacteria in nature but here they have given very few so here both the statements a and b are correct but c is false statement so a and b are true we'll go for option a as a right answer let's go for the question number 4 read the following statements and select the incorrect statements there are four options here though bacterial cell structure is very simple they are very complex in behavior direct statement from ncert next chemosynthetic autotrophic bacteria play great role in recycling of nutrients such as nitrogen phosphorus iron and sulfur this is also true next majority of the heterotrophic bacteria are important decomposers yes this is also true because they are heterotrophic right whereas look at the option number d autotrophic bacteria synthesize their food from organic substrate they have given see autotrophic bacteria synthesize their own food from inorganic substrate not from organic substrate right so option d is the incorrect statement now let us go for the fifth question identify the given organism under which group does it belong by looking at a picture only we can say this it's a agaricus or mushroom right and it belongs to group basidio 
mycetes. So option C. Let's go for the sixth question. Match the column one. Here they have given in a column one kingdom and column two body organization and choose the correct options. C. Kingdom plant A. Kingdom plant A have tissue or the organ level of body organization. Right. Next. Monera. Here it's a cellular level of organization. Right. Next. Fungi. Fungi are made up of multicellular loose tissue. And animalia. Here animalia is made up of tissue organ or organ system level of body organization. But once it comes to protista. See protista are unicellular eukaryotic organisms. So I can say that it is again a cellular level of organization. So option D. Now let us go for the seventh question. Similarity in bryophytes and cyanobacteria is. Both are unicellular. No, bryophytes are multicellular. Both possess chlorophyll A. See, cyanobacteria is also known as what? B, G, A or blue green algae. They also have a chlorophyll pigment which is similar to kingdom plantae. And bryophytes belong to what? Kingdom plantae. Right? So, both possess Chlorophyll A is the right option here. But they have given other two options also. Cell wall is absent in both. Sorry, this is a wrong statement. And both show completion of life cycle in two different hosts. No, this is also a wrong statement. So, the right statement for this question is both possess chlorophyll A. Option B. Eighth one. Ciliates differ from all other protozoans in. See, the ciliates are the group of protozoans which are characterized by hair-like structure. You can have a look at it. And it is known as what? Cilia. And these cilia are used for what? Locomotion. That means for movement. As well as food gathering. And here they have given some options that using pseudopodia for capturing prey, no, having a contractile vacuole for removing excess of water, this is also wrong. Using flagella for locomotion, this is also a wrong statement. Having two types of nuclei, this is a right statement. Why? Because ciliates have two types of nuclei. One is Micronucleus, you can have a look at it. And second one is macronucleus. So these are the two types of nucleus which are present in ciliated protozoans. So here the correct option is D. Now let us move on to the ninth question. Select the correct statement from the following. Paramecium and Trypanosoma belong to same kingdom as that of Saccharomyces. See, this Paramecium and Trypanosoma belongs to what? Protista kingdom. Whereas Saccharomyces belongs to kingdom Mycota. Right? So, this is a wrong statement. Next, let us go for the option B. Legend shows symbiotic association of an alga and a protozoan. This is also wrong because legend show symbiotic association of algae and fungi. Next, let us go for the third option. Yeast used in making bread and beer belongs to the same kingdom as that of morals. Yes, morals also belongs to 
the kingdom mycota yeast it is also an unicellular fungi right it's yeast so here option c is the correct statement and whereas option d nostoc and anabiana are protists this is wrong again they are cyanobacteria right so option c is the correct statement from the following now let us go for the 10th question which among the following is not a prokaryote see they have given here some options nostoc mycobacterium saccharomyces oscillatoria here nostoc mycobacterium oscillatoria they all belongs to kingdom monera right whereas saccharomyces belongs to kingdom mycota right saccharomyces commonly known as what yeast it's a unicellular eukaryotic fungi whereas mycobacterium is a bacterium oscillatoria and nostoc are cyanobacteria so option c it's not a prokaryote now let us go for the 12th question sorry 11th one which of the following statement is incorrect regarding chemosynthetic bacteria chemosynthetic bacteria depend on other organisms or dead organic matter for food they have given see chemosynthetic bacteria prepare their own food right they prepare their own food but here they have given they depend on dead organic matter so it is not chemosynthetic bacteria it is saprophytic so the first option is itself is a incorrect one whereas the second option chemosynthetic bacteria oxidize nitrate nitrites ammonia yes and chemosynthetic bacteria obtain energy for atp production by oxidizing various inorganic substances this is also true and chemosynthetic bacteria can recycle the nutrients like nitrogen and phosphorus this is also true but the only incorrect statement is the first statement so option a is incorrect here now let us move on to the 12th question which of the following statement is not true not true means again we have to identify incorrect statement right amoeboid protozoans can live in fresh water sea water or moist soil this is true sporozoans have an infectious spore like stages in their life cycle yes that is the reason why they are said to be sporozoans next coming to the option c ciliated protozoans have gullet that opens to outside of the cell surface yes they have a cavity called gullet okay and uh, into the which they move their food by means of tiny cilia so this is also true and flagellated protozoans cause red tides they have given here see this is wrong statement or an incorrect statement why because red tide is caused due to red dino flagellates okay so red dino flagellates so they are not flagellated protozoans flagellated protozoans means that is a different thing right so let me give you one more explanation about this gullet ciliated protozoans have a mouth pore this is a mouth pore and that opens to outside called gullet into which they move their food by means of cilia so here incorrect statements is option d flagellated protozoan cause red tides
choose the correct sequence of stages of fungal sexual cycle karyogamy plasmogamy meiosis see this is a cycle of fungi here the mycelium they may undergo asexual reproduction or sexual reproduction asexual reproduction means they produce spores and spores after the germination produces mycelium in case of sexual reproduction in fungi it takes place through three stages first one is plasmogamy that is fusion of cytoplasm and second one is karyogamy that is fusion of two nuclei and the resultant will be zygote then zygote undergoes a process called meiosis to produce spores and the spores upon germination produces mycelium so here the correct option is first is plasmogamy second one is karyogamy the next is meiosis but here option a is wrong meiosis plasmogamy karyogamy is also wrong but option c plasmogamy karyogamy and meiosis is the right option next let us go for the 14th question select the wrong statement or incorrect statement we have to select pseudopodia are locomotory and feeding structures of sporozoans they have given here see pseudopodia are the locomotory and feeding structure in amoeboid protozoans not in sporozoans okay next when it comes to option b mushroom belongs to basidiomycetes yes mushroom belongs to what basidiomycetes next cell wall is present in members of fungi and plantae yes this is also true because fungal cell wall is made up of chitin okay and fungal cellulose and plant cell wall is made up of cellulose and hemicellulose next mitochondria are the power house of the cell in all kingdom except monera yes this is also true why because mitochondria is present only in eukaryotes and they are absent in prokaryotes that is in the members of kingdom monera so option a is the wrong statement here now let us move on to the 15th question why is capsule advantages to bacterium what is the function of capsule actually okay it protects the bacterium from desiccation no it provides a means of locomotion this is also wrong it allows bacterium to hide from host immune system see there are some bacteria such as yes type of bacteria or else virulent bacteria and they are said to be capsulated bacteria and the capsule is made up of polysaccharides and amino acids and the capsule is said to be tough and thick and it is a mucilaginous covering here and it gives protection to the bacteria against host immune system because the bacteria has to survive in host and in order to protect themselves from the host immune system this capsule helps the bacteria so option c let's go for the 16th question thermococcus methanococcus and methanobacterium exemplify see these three are the bacteria which belongs to archaea or archaea bacteria these are the examples of what archaea bacteria and these archaea bacteria are characterized by a unique cell wall and that lack peptidoglycan and that cell wall of archaea bacteria consists of polysaccharides and protein 
which closely resembles the eukaryotic cell even in the mechanism of protein synthesis structural protein and its rna complements of the ribosomes okay here they have given some option bacteria whose dna is relaxed positively supercoiled but which have cytoskeleton no next bacteria that contains a cytoskeleton and ribosome this is also wrong and archaea bacteria that contain protein homologous to eukaryotic core histone so this is the unique uh, characteristics of bacteria and which resembles the eukaryotic cell i told you know that is mechanism of protein synthesis or structural protein or else the rna complements of the ribosomes and next archaea bacteria that lack any histones resembling those found in eukaryotes but those whose rna is negatively supercoiled so this is all wrong it exemplifies option c yes viruses are no more alive than isolated chromosomes because see viruses are said to be no more alive why because see isolated chromosomes and viruses they both require a host cell to replicate if there is no host cell then this chromosomes or viruses it's of no use right here they have given four option they require both dna and rna no they both need food molecules chromosome do not need any food molecules right they both require oxygen for respiration no both require the environment of a cell to replicate that is host cell is required to replicate option d now let us go for the 18th question which of the statements given below are incorrect methanogens are u bacteria which produce methane in marshy areas they have given see methanogens are not u bacteria they are archaea bacteria so this is incorrect statement nostoc is filamentous blue green algae which fixes atmospheric nitrogen this is also true next chemosynthetic autotrophic bacteria synthesize cellulose from glucose they have given see this chemosynthetic bacteria it includes a group of autotrophic bacteria they use chemical energy to produce their own food okay not glucose to synthesize cellulose they are photosynthetic bacteria they just need a carbon source that is carbon dioxide as well as some amount of energy so that they can manufacture their own food right so this is again wrong statement next mycoplasma lack cell wall and can survive without oxygen this is true so the correct incorrect statement they have given not the correct one so incorrect statements means 1 and 3 now let us go for the 19th question identify the incorrect pair incorrect pair we have to identify sexual spores ascospores they have given yes fruiting bodies are said to be ascocarps this is also true morels are edible fungi yes mushrooms and morels are said to be edible fungi but phycomycetes only one option which is left it will uh, phycomycetes in that they have given neurospora belongs to phycomycetes you can have a look at this chart the examples for phycomycetes ascomycetes basidiomycetes and deuteromycetes it is known as lower fungi sac fungi club fungi and fungi imperfecti here neurospora is here that means sac fungi or ascomycetes but they have given phycomycetes here hence the incorrect pair is neurospora it belongs to class ascomycetes so option d 
Now let us move on to the twentieth question. Match column A with column B and select correct option. So hyphae means what? It's a slender thread-like structure. And mycelium means what? It's a network of hyphae. Septae means what? That is cross walls in hyphae. Cenocytic hyphae. That means what? If it is having multinucleated cytoplasm, then that hyphae are said to be cenocytic hyphae. So here option C. Now let us move on to the twenty-first question. Which of the following is correct regarding sexual cycle of different fungi? Here they have given you four option. Sexual reproduction is by conidia or sporangiospores. This is wrong because this is asexual reproduction. Again, here they have given asexual reproduction occurs by means of ascospores. No, this is sexual reproduction. Fusion of gametes is called plasmogamy. They have given no fusion of gametes is said to be not plasmogamy. It's a karyogamy. Fusion of nucleus. Okay. Next, in ascomycetes, dikaryophase is an intervening phase wherein karyogamy is delayed. Yes, this is a correct statement because in ascomycetes and basidiomycetes, karyogamy is delayed, and this occurs just before the meiosis. And here, this intervening stage between Plasmogamy and karyogamy, the two cells are present in a condition and they are known as dikaryon. That means n plus n, and such cells are said to be dikaryotic cells, and the phase is known as dikaryophase. Here, the correct statement regarding the sexual cycle of different fungi is option D. Now let us move on to the twenty-second question. Basophilic prokaryotes. See, basophilic prokaryotes are anaerobic bacteria, and they grow and multiply in deep marine sediments. And the pH which is required for the growth of this basophils is eight point five or higher. Now let us move on to the option. Grow and multiply in very deep marine sediments. Yes, this is only the right option. Occur in water containing high concentration of barium hydroxide. No, readily grow and divide in sea water. Enriched in any soluble salt of barium. No, grow slowly in highly alkaline frozen lake at high altitudes. This is also wrong. So basophilic prokaryotes. Grow and multiply in very deep marine sediments. Option A. Now let us move on to the twenty-third question. Most of the antibiotics have no effect on viruses because, see, antibiotics are the chemical substances that are produced by an organism which kills or inhibits the growth of. other organism antibiotics destroy the organism by inhibiting its metabolic process and here they have given most of the antibiotics have no effects on viruses because see the viruses do not have their own metabolism right hence the effect of antibiotics is almost nil They have given four option here. They kill all bacteria, which forms host of a virus. This is wrong. Viruses are too small in size for antibiotics to act on them. This is also wrong statement. Viruses have no metabolism of their own. This is right. And viruses produce a thick covering. No, this is also wrong. So option C is the right statement for the above question. Yes. 
Now let us move on to the twenty fourth question. Match the type of protozoans which is given in the column one with their examples given in the column two, and choose the correct options. See, amoeboid protozoan example is amoeba. Ciliated protozoan example is paramecium. Flagellated protozoan example is trypanosoma. Sporozoan example is plasmodium. So option C. Now let us move on to the twenty fifth question. Read the following statements and answer the question given below. See these are some of the statements I. Uh, regarding one organism, see they are saprophytic protist under suitable condition. They form an aggregation and that is known as plasmodium, and it may grow and spread over several feet. During unfavorable condition, plasmodium differentiates and forms fruiting bodies bearing spores at their tips. Which of the following class of protists they have given here? This organism is protist. is being described by the above statement see by looking at the above statement you can say that it's a direct statement from ncert right so here they are nothing else but the slime molds all the described statements are related to slime molds they are saprophytic protists simple organisms okay they have a mass of cells called plasmodium under unfavorable condition they will differentiate and bear self fruiting bodies so all these statements are regarding what slime molds so option c yeah hope this helped you thank you for listening